It's been a long six months since our last event here at Vista and uh, I think from our point of view we're just glad to see the clients back. We've got the classroom session going on at the moment and the cars get out for their on the road practice. It's about bringing people into the sport and you grow with it and do it as much as you want or as little as you want. We're off and rallying again. I know, it's fantastic. It doesn't seem that long since we were here, but it is. Yeah, really looking forward to it. The number of people we met last night who've never done it before, and that's where Hero ERA are so good, is that process of taking you through and learning how to do it. Your 13-year-old daughter, Natasha, is navigating in this event. You could break the record for the youngest ever navigator in classic rallying. What do you think about that? I didn't really think about that, but it's quite cool, actually. <laughs> It's a very complicated subject, um, very absorbing. Lots of mistakes can be made. And also, I think regularity rallying is a lot more complicated than stage rallying, where you have to get from one stage to another by any old sort of route, really. Whereas this has to be so precise. These are the first steps. And this time next year, you start from Peking on your epic journey to Paris. That's right at the front of my mind at the moment. And I'm thinking, how do we get from here to there? I'm a bit worried about finding our way out of Peking when we can't find our way around Bista. What's going on? Uh, we've got no brake lights, so we've got a bit of a job on there. We've just got the indicators going because they weren't working. I think we nearly solved it, but I think there's a pressure switch gone. Do you think you can crack it? I think we're nearly there. It's just a matter of uh, sorting this brake light switch out and then we're away. My maths not fantastic, but um, yeah, we, we only went wrong once, and it was only marginal. Sort of reverse back, and off we went. So yeah, it was... and we're not looking to divorce yet. No, no, we're still we're still together. So <laughs> the way they've done this in sections is very very helpful, and I think really we've benefited from it. And you know, I think it's the best way to learn. It's, uh, it's been a really good event. We were fortunate enough to do the summer trial last year, really good COVID protocols. Same again here, it's been really well organised. Crew at Hero are fantastic, comms have been great leading up to it as well and uh, everyone's having a great time. Yeah, it's just fantastic to be back out really after so long cooped up. You know, we've been uh, itching to get back out and yeah, it's just been brilliant. This was my introduction to rallying which I think is the perfect place to start and that went a lot better than I thought it was going to. Well, the lessons were quite detailed, so I think it's to some extent quite frightening for the people who've never done it before. But we did just say that the good thing is they've sort of presented everything that could happen, even if it didn't happen this afternoon or tomorrow. So afternoon session, I think everyone's a bit more confident, aren't we? Yeah. Because it was a bit easier, a bit more manageable. Yeah. As a novice, I think it's a great way of learning what it's about. Come and try it and see if you like it. We all accept that we're all new, and um, but I think the general... Uh, sort of camaraderie around doing the rallies and all being car enthusiasts is just what makes you all comfortable. You're all happy to be here at the same time, same reason. Because we only got out for the one event last year, we thought it'd be uh, worthwhile to uh, do this a bit of a refresher um, before we do, hopefully, plenty more uh, events this year. Now, have you been through the foot test on the terrace? No, we're about to do that yet. <laughs> Apparently, you link arms and run around and shout at each other. Sounds perfect. We came up with this concept that they would walk a test route picking up a code board, going the right way of cones, and, uh, and everyone loved it. You were fast as time, uh, up to a point, I think, Alistair. Result, result. <laughs> I don't think we quite managed to beat the bogey time, but we had a good laugh, <laughs> yeah. and uh, Seren and Elise are great at that as well. Yeah. Looked like you almost spun off at one point, Matt. Oh, well, yeah, you know, he got a bit carried away, a bit heavy with the right foot, and uh, yeah, but uh, we just about four, survived. Four directions, yeah. <laughs> it to do with the right foot. <laughs> It's a big one tomorrow, it's the mini okay, rally. Yeah. This was just the practice. Well, we'll probably win it then. Yeah, it's yeah. a no-brainer. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been messing about this afternoon. Put everybody else into a false sense of security. The fact we got lost 23 minutes this morning <laughs> is just to throw everybody off the set.
Yeah, no, I think it's been good. I think we've had some challenges in the morning. We've had a more confidence building session in the afternoon, and I think we're all just ready to go tomorrow now. The atmosphere is great, so really enjoyed it. We weren't too good on the cones earlier. Our left and rights and that way and this way was a bit confusing. It made more sense in my head to go that way, <laughs> but that doesn't mean much. It doesn't so. mean a lot to me. How are you finding the uh, Golf GTI? Because this is the arrive and drive yes, car. Is, yes. Yeah, yeah. Good? Uh, love it. Superb. Brings back a lot of memories from the sort of late 70s, early 80s. My brother had one identical to this, funny enough. And uh, yes, yeah, superb car. Tight as a drum. Good. And good to kind of like get reference for what kind of cars prior prior kind of my age group is because obviously now everything's quite sanitized and you actually get a feel for what an original kind of hot hatch was it's it's great it's so much fun you feel everything you know even if you're not doing ridiculous speech you're engaged the whole kind of experience you hear the noise you hear the clutch you hear the gearbox it's great as long as you're both having fun oh it's brilliant definitely brilliant brilliant, brilliant. How's it all been going so far? Well, we're, we're complete novices and it's been absolutely great. Really good fun. We managed to do much better than we did the last two times. It was an eye-opener. <laughs> the first two times we never had any inkling of how to juggle times with the tulip diagrams and stuff, but this time we managed to do quite well and I was very happy with my progress really pleased with how well the practical sessions have worked with the theoretical so they'll learn a little tiny bit bite-sized pieces and then they'll go out and try it. It has been a very steep learning curve but we've been so well looked after by Hero. We've had an amazing weekend but we've had a lot of fun and we've learned a hell of a lot. We? we sat down last night over a beer and worked out where we'd gone wrong yesterday and we thought we had it all sorted for today but we didn't. We still <laughs> messed up. <laughs> Any wrong turns? Yes. Yes, it's to totally my fault. <laughs> totally stupid. Never mind, John, but it's all part of the learning process, isn't it? Absolutely. I think the event has been a huge success. There's lots of smiles coming in, everyone's very happy, even if they did fall for the tricks, but they know what they did, so that's the main thing. You're the youngest navigator in regularity rallying. How do you feel now? Uh, it feels good, actually. It was quite hard when we were doing it, though, but it's a lot better now. I couldn't be prouder. This is the way to start rallying because it goes right through to P2P, so you can do everything. I have had so much positive feedback and so many people I've spoken to have caught the bug just like Elise and I did so many years ago. They want to come and do more, they're asking what events can they do and anything from the summer trial to the longer events. Some are talking about peaking to Paris, <laughs> which is very different but very exciting. We had a lot of noise coming from your son. He was shouting quite a bit. Was that at you? Uh, no, 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 no. He was just um, letting me know which way to go. <laughs> which I was trying my best, of course. Think you'll come back for more, Russell? Definitely, yeah. yeah. I'll bring my own car this, next time. <laughs> We're planning to do the, uh, the Scottish Molds. So now we've got to do a bit of uh, practicing and sorting out before then. Thank God I've done this and obviously I do seriously need to do a couple more things before I set off on the PP, but I did, I learned a huge amount today. After all the trials and tribulations of the classroom and on the road, as to Matt, here you are, novice trial champions, how do you feel? Fantastic, it's been a great weekend, um, learnt a lot back in the classroom because we haven't done much for the last uh, year or two, but uh, yeah, really, really great event and uh, absolutely chuffed. Matt? Just been fantastic, you know, as you say, we've been smiling from start to finish, just been great fun, you know, the classroom sessions were really good to get our eyes back in and then, you know, get back out on the road and, and try it out, it's been, it's been brilliant, thoroughly enjoyed it.